We're back picking my next fight. Leo Scott, Walter Wood, Logan Green. Who do I want? Definitely not Leo Scott. I'm uh, going to fight Tomato Canned as long as I can just so I can do nothing but practice that skill. So I'm going with Walter Wood. <clears throat> um, I got a new perk. It allows me to, let's see, increase damage on roundhouse kicks to the head. Don't think I throw many roundhouse kicks to the head, whatever. Time to spar. Just uh, trying to get that key to victory. I'm always kind of confused what to do in these sparring sessions. I basically just use the sparring to give me up to peak shape more towards the end of my uh, training. I did the boxing gym again, and uh, you know, I did the, the sparring, boxing. I'm definitely going to probably in the next couple fights here change up my gyms just so my fighter can get more well-rounded. I mean, I feel like for I feel like my I don't know. I want to get my my ground game and stuff, you know, up. But I also don't want to be lacking in the in the uh, ability to take punches and to knock people out. So I'm like, do I go to ground game now? You know, maybe Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Judo, and then go back to boxing or you know I, I'm I'm kind of feeling this out right now I'm not quite sure but uh, this we didn't really do much in the sparring session Just pretty much stood around key to victory tells me to uh, go for Kimura's my opponent has no clue how to defend against him we'll see Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender. I can assure you of that. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. Well, this guy's wrestling is really high level. He's got the collegiate credentials to prove it. And even when the opponent knows what's coming, hard to stuff that shot. Got to figure it'll be takedowns in bunches out of him tonight. What he wants to do here is close the distance, bring this fight to the ground where he should have an advantage, utilize his ground and pound and his submission skills. tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters. All right, time to fight Walter Wood, see what we can do against this guy. He, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be an easy fight. That's just my guess, we'll see. But I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Oh, bro, he's going with an uppercut. I don't even know if he really necessarily hit me that well, but he's throwing him, so I gotta be careful. Move, oh, bro, my head movement just went right into that uppercut. That was terrible. All right, first round is underway. You better watch Trying to throw some leg kicks over. on this guy. Bro, I'm not, I am not defending well right now. We'll not good. Let's we'll just, we'll just get the one two. That's what we're comfortable with. One two can set up bigger and better punches here. Got to be careful. Nice hook. Overhand. Oh, bro, he had moved an overhand. We're throwing bombs out here. Just miss with that right hand. I need to be more gentle. I need not be so. Oh, oh wow. He's not defending nothing, bruh. Look at that. Well, he got to the body there. Joe left his elbow that nerd. I just unlocked that elbow, remember? I'm trying to, trying to throw that elbow. 
to see if I can get an elbow knockout, but I can't really. Every time I throw it, it like fakes it. It doesn't throw it. I wonder why it's doing that. Oh, there we go. Still didn't hit, though. I want to hit that elbow at least once. Come on. Oh, there we go. Bro, I got this guy against the cage. I didn't get unload on him. Let's go. Unload, unload, unload. Come on. Ooh, uppercut. Elbow. Ooh, overhand. Bro, we're, we're going to town on each other right now. That did not sound right. Hey. Oh, head movement. Look at me. I'm out here dipping and dodging, bro. One, two. I'm out here jabbing. I got that jab step. I'm like, ooh, let me see how I, how I moved away from that right there. I'm telling you, that head movement, it's, come, it, it's working. I, that's one thing I did practice in my last sparring session. So I was just practicing moving back and forth with my head. If you if you go back and watch, I don't know if you noticed, I was doing that. He's checking a lot of my leg kicks. Oh, wow. He's got me good right there. I'm trying to come at this guy with different looks. Elbows, leg kicks. I'm trying to give this guy all kinds of different things. His stamina is going down pretty quick. I mean, not as quick as mine, obviously, because I throw way more punches, but he is uh, kind of punching himself out himself here. That might have been a weird way to word that. Ooh, got me again. I gotta guard that kick better. I gotta defend that. Block that. Oh, bro, I'm getting this guy. Let's go. Unload. Unload. Okay, don't punch yourself out, though. Stop. There we go. All right. Ooh, look at that head movement. I'm out here dipping and dodging, bro, like Muhammad Ali. Just kidding. I ain't nothing like the goat. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh my god. How is he not knocked out? Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Two uppercuts. One, up, one uppercut after he was already rocked. Saved by the bell. I was about to destroy that kid. Bro, we're hugging out here. The guy was hugging me after the bell. You see that? All right. Round two. Oh, I don't know why I threw that kick. That was an accident. Bro, his stamina is... uh. Recovered nicely. Mine's uh, not that good right now. I, f I feel like this guy's uh, head is not feeling too well. I feel like his bell is ringing. And I want to attack it. Problem is, the more I throw these punches, my stamina goes down. My punches are weaker, so they catch 22. I gotta be careful. But look at this guy. This guy. I feel like this guy's on the verge of getting knocked out. I've hit this guy with so many shots. He must have an iron, iron jaw or something. He's not he's not defending very well and he's taking all kinds of shots. Oh, that right hand is on point. Good job landing this series of strikes here. Bro, I'm gonna go with shots for days. Nice defense there. Head movement. Oh man. We gotta get with that. We gotta get back to that one two. That we're comfortable with. Lead jab. Oh, one two, there we go. I missed it, but there we go. Lead jab or one two, one two. Ooh, wow, he just, just that was, <laughs> I moved my head back and I did nothing, he just rocked, he hit me right in the chin. Ooh, it was like a kidney shot. I've had this guy up against the cage the whole fight, I gotta be winning just based on the fact that I've been attacking and he's just been back to the cage defending basically. <clears throat> I gotta say, I won the first round. Oh, wow, he was hitting me with the uppercut. That's like the same, same uppercut I ever seen other people with the last two fights. I was getting, I was knocking people out with that uppercut. Now, this guy's been in defend mode like 90% of the fight. I've just been kind of up against the cage. If I'm not winning right now by points, it's I'd be shocked. And even when me and him are in the ring, in the middle of the ring, in the middle of the octagon, I guess I should say, and we're exchanging, I'm getting the better hits on him than he is on me. Like the uppercuts, the overhands, like that right there. He's not hitting me with anything like that, really. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm rocked, I'm rocked, I'm rocked. Bro, my stamina is so low. Okay, good. Woo. It's like, no way my stamina is that low. So I just got rocked though, I gotta be careful. If this was a five round fight, I'd be screwed, you know that? I really gotta work on my stamina. I gotta get that Cain that Velasquez stamina. Ooh. 
Uppercut. I'm feeling uppercut, man. Uppercut's a like is like my signature punch. I thought it would be spinning back fist, but I think it's the uppercut. Oh, got me in the clinch. Into the round. God, I'm here, son. You are ahead on the cards. Your game plan is working. Look for a opponent to get more aggressive. All right, here we go. I can pretty much just point this one out and win. Now, I want that knockout, though, because that's part of the GOAT career mode objective. You have to get, like, 13 knockouts, I think. I think I don't know how many I have now. But... I, uh... Want the knockout here. Although, I think I'll take a decision victory. I'm not too... You know, I'll have plenty of fights to get knockouts, you know what I mean? So, not too worried about it. Dip and dodge, dip and dodge. Overhand didn't connect. His, his head's hurting, though. His head's hurting for sure. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Attack mode. Attack mode. Bro, his head is hurting. His head's been blinking for like a minute now. Let's go. One, two. One, two. The one, two's hurting him. Him with that elbow. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, bro. How was that a knockout? I thought that was a knockout. Are you serious? What am I doing? What is this? That was, that was weird and awkward. Sorry the fans had to watch that. Oh, come on. Bro, how is it? Oh, another elbow. How is this guy not knocked out right now? Attack mode. Let's go. I'm hitting this guy with all kinds of shots. I don't know how this guy is still alive. I mean, there's. I feel like any other fight, this guy would have been knocked out by now. This guy must have an iron jaw, like I said earlier. Oh, bruh. Another uppercut. How is this guy not down? Oh, my God. Look at this. How is this guy taking these punches? This is crazy. All right, come on. Got two minutes to finish this. Let's go. Two... Uh, in game minutes. It's like more like a minute in real life. Oh, bro. I'm not even scared of this guy's punches right now. My head's good. This is this guy's about to get knocked out. Even, bro, if I just jab him, his head starts blinking. Anything I land, his head blinks. He's like on the verge of a knockout. I don't know how this guy's not going down. Unless I'm just not hitting him with enough power because my stamina is so low. It's gotta be what it is. Oh, I'm hurt now. I'm hurt now. Back up, back up. Point this one out. Let's just point this one out. Let's grab him, take him down. Posture up. Wrestle with him. Just don't risk it. Don't risk it. Come on. 15 seconds. We got this. I don't think there's a possible way he could throw a submission on me and I tap. We're good. This should be a victory. I'm about to get... If I lose this game, I'm about to get screwed by the refs, I'll tell you that, or the judges. I don't see any way that I lose this fight. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision... All right, so there he is after Unanimous decision. What am I, 7-0 now? Not a knockout, but I'll take it. I'm proud of that. It's a tough fight, but, you know, I, I had a game plan from the beginning of the fight. He was pretty much just uh, up against the cage, and I just kept that going, kept aggressive. It's a nice win. Hopefully we get to fight some uh, real fighters here pretty soon.